Hey Collective, how are you guys? I hope you're having a great Friday evening. Getting ready to start a collective reading for y'all. Okay, please only take it resonates and leave the rest. Oh look. <laughs> y'all like, what is going on? Y'all can see my shadow. I have all of this blonde hair up on my head. You probably think a rooster is doing your reading tonight. <laughs> look at your energy guys this will be a general collective reading as always please only take a rest nays and leave the rest okay all right spirit oh something otherworldly going on up in here this is your energy hmm give me one more card place for the collective the fish hmm all right this is really kind of an, an instant, uh, I'm sorry, an interesting, I want to say combination, because the buffalo is very, very present, okay? It's like a grounded yet heavenly vibe, okay? Someone who is practical yet very spiritual as well. And with the bat being next to it i feel like i have someone here that's definitely going through a rebirth that's what i get this is about facing darkness this is amazing because i'm looking at how this is actually structured here so i would almost think that this would come after this but not necessarily you could be coming across this way due to what is this on my finger it looks like i wrote on myself tonight you could be doing that hang on I just got through working out, so I think my kettlebell scraped my finger. I didn't even notice that. That's crazy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I feel, I mean, this could definitely be telling me that this is what, this is why you're this way. Okay. This is why you're coming across so grounded and just um, in, in clear presence here. This is how people could be seeing you as well. But this is about some transformation that you've been through, kind of a death and a rebirth, okay? This is someone who has faced their darkness, but it's interesting here because I feel like, now a fish is more comfortable, of course, when they're flowing in the current, but when I'm seeing that, maybe this is you trying to get into the flow, but why do I feel like there's some restlessness that appears to be happening as well? This could also <clears throat> signify to me that you are already in this energy and something has, has brought up something, okay? Made you face or step into some kind of darkness. Maybe it's around you. It could be some kind of an event or something that's happening around you that may also have you feeling like you're actually going against the current, like suddenly you've been thrown off balance, right? Things are not moving in the way that they generally would. Things are not flowing for you. There's definitely this anxiousness, this kind of restlessness in terms of what I'm feeling here tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Spirit, what is this about, please, for the collective? So something could be happening in someone's life that someone who's done a lot of work, someone who's very grounded, someone who's very wise, someone who tries to live just in presence. They, you know, I think you actually come across that way. Buffalo has a real strength to them, right? And I think something has happened to challenge that or to shake that up, which of course that happens from time to time anyway, right? Such as life. Let's see what else, Spirit, for the collective, please. Okay, this may have something to do with your stability. Okay, this could definitely have something to do with some kind of stability maybe something in your life is being challenged as far as feeling stable or maybe not feeling stable is kind of what i'm feeling here because you definitely think that things aren't flowing maybe this is around money or finance 
could be around friends or somebody's home life, something like that. Somebody might be feeling like something that used to be dependable for them is not. There's also a card, though, about loyalty. Maybe something has happened in some, some relationship in your life. Or you're questioning someone's loyalty here. Interesting. This could also be due to whatever this is. This is a card about spiritual growth here. And somebody, maybe this is due to an ascension, okay? The bad energy here, kind of facing the darkness, okay? Maybe there's some things that you still have to work through. We all go through this. You know, it's never really done. So this could be almost like an upgrade as well, that it's making someone lose balance. But why do I keep feeling like there's some kind of event, okay? Something around you that is happening that's kind of sparking this again, all right, this is someone who's already quite spiritual. This is someone who's quite um, invested, I feel like, in their own growth. You may be getting some kind of upgrade over here as well. But whatever is happening here, you know what's so interesting. Mm. Whatever it is, I feel like it's making someone uncomfortable. And I think it's making someone anxious. And it may even, oh man, all right, look, <laughs> in my experience, okay, and, and God knows I have been down this road, when spirit is ready for you to leave something, when spirit is ready to, like, say if your job's not right for you, or if your relationship's not right, things will begin to get shaken up quite a bit. That is for your protection. That is for your growth, okay? That's because... As humans, we tend to hang on to things so long that don't serve us and they actually keep us stagnant. See, I already know that I'm dealing with someone that's very heavenly, very spiritual. So you have a lot of your energy already in that realm. Something is shaken up that because maybe it's trying to take you to more spiritual growth or maybe it's trying to take you um, to a different level of sorts, if that makes sense. Look, this is the fourth house here. So this is about your family. This is about your roots. This is about your peace and comfort. I'm telling you, somebody's getting shaken up in that area. Something that usually makes them feel stable. Something that they have thought of maybe up until this point as being dependable. Okay. Could be around family could be about their comfort level something like that is being challenged in some way and that could be simply you know you know this is about family so it could be about questioning that stuff and loyalty or disloyalty whatever how it relates there they may also they could be shaking things up because they have an issue with some spiritual growth that you could be going through as well they could be questioning that as well. They can be making things difficult for you as well. Just take it if it applies. But it has something to do with stability too. These are fixed signs. So I have Taurus, Leo, Virgo, Aquarius. I have a lot of... Uh, no, I have water energy here, earth energy, <clears throat> and then air energy as well. I really feel whatever this is, maybe someone didn't see it coming or maybe due to some spiritual changes that are happening here, you've gotten some clarity, which is helping you see things, of course, for the way that they are, but it's rocking someone's foundation here. I don't, maybe this isn't you. Maybe this is someone that you're dealing with um as well wow geez something is really about to shift okay i talked about this just a moment ago when you're ready for this and especially if you've been holding on to something for too long spirit will come in and just pull the rug out from under you it can be very uncomfortable we hope that it's easier we hope that it flows but it can also feel very uncomfortable Whatever this is, this is your south node. This is something that you're destined to release. You're done with it. You've learned the lessons. 
Um, it's time to move beyond it in some way. <laughs> this this is all about spirituality. Somebody, there's some kind of transcendence that is happening here in your situation. Okay. This is due, I feel like, to your good karma here. Maybe you are to live a life of service here. Maybe you're doing, you know, healing work, something like that. Um, I feel like, especially with South Node here, and then, of course, the 12th house as well. I feel like you are releasing something, okay, because that is helping you to move to the next level. Okay, spirituality, transcending something in your life, reaping some of the good karma that you put out there. Moving on, because this has been more sacrificial service. I don't know why. Okay, so maybe these are just people that you've always given to from a place of loyalty because you felt like you needed to, but perhaps they weren't given back to you. Yeah. So you may feel very uncomfortable in some of this, okay? Or you may feel like things are kind of unstable for a little bit as you begin to go through these changes. I will tell you this, this is, when I say the buffalo is very strong and a very dominant energy as well, just incredibly stable and still and present. And I think that is the best place you can be right now, okay? Um, keep tuning in because I think that that's really going to, to guide you, okay? And to make things less shaky, let me say it that way, less shaky for you, a little bit easier, a little bit more palatable. You may be having some power struggles with someone that is around you, okay? You Maybe people are in opposition, not only with your views, but also with maybe some kind of change that you feel needs to happen, but this is happening because you are in balance. This is an imbalance for you. Someone that is around you or maybe something like I said, this could be work too, is an imbalance for who you're becoming here. And Spirit is really going to be pushing you now to, to not be given sacrificial service here, but to begin to really take care of your own emotional needs here. Taking care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Wow, I cannot believe the way these cards are coming out. There's your North Node. This is because it's time to get out of that old path. You've already learned the lessons. It's already served its purpose. And now you are moving in and towards your north node here. Okay, this is where you're destined to go. Hmm. All right. Okay, so I think I'm going to see what the cards have to say for you guys tonight. I feel like the readings that have came out lately are getting deeply spiritual. So I imagine that that we're definitely undergoing a shift, definitely in this collective, <laughs> because the way it's coming out, which is amazing. I'm totally, obviously, I'm great with that. I love it. I want it, I encourage it, but it's just nice to kind of see it come out in some of the readings. Mm, Spirit, what is this about? What is this about for the collective, please? Thank you guys for being here as always. I really do appreciate it. Appreciate you guys, appreciate your support, me of the channel. Oh my, wow. So yeah, something is uncomfortable. Someone feels, <clears throat> yeah, and this is why it feels so uncomfortable. I kept talking about your stability amidst this, all right, being shaken, some kind of foundation that's being shaken here. <clears throat> this could be you. This could be somebody that you're dealing with. I believe I said that, but something here has been very unfair, very unjust here. All right. It's really left um, someone feeling isolated, kind of out in the cold, kind of like they don't belong. Definitely like they're being tested. I 
definitely feel like there's something here as well about so there could be there could have been some money issues or obstacles as well i said something was impacting stability there could have been job loss as well i just heard take into the cleaners so maybe someone has been through something where they felt they had they lost a lot okay and maybe that had to do take into the cleaners that's a, is that a law thing or a court thing or someone just getting wiped out in some way. This is good though. Because honestly, this is something that needed to end. And I just told you, especially with all this Pluto energy and stuff here, it just looks to me like the transformation can be very uncomfortable sometimes. You know, you can go into this moon phase of feeling like, I don't know how I'm supposed to manage. I don't know how all of this is going to work. And, you know, you can't see what's here by design. The thing is, you're you're changing so much, and it really is about blind faith. It's about believing, right? Trusting the process. Somebody here has ended a cycle and is moving into what looks like a brand new cycle here. And I think that it may be a little bit scary. Again, this is where the trust has to come. You have to understand that there's a greater plan here at work. I think someone's eyes is really being opened at this time as well. These cards are really interesting. This could involve, so this could involve some kind of partnership because I feel mm -hmm. this could definitely involve some kind of partnership here. It's really interesting. I think somebody might be thinking a lot about a partnership or thinking a lot. I, there's definitely something that's trying to go in. Maybe you're, maybe that's your self node. Maybe that's what you're supposed to be leaving behind. Maybe that's what's kind of rocked someone's foundation here. I did hear taken to the cleaners. So it could have definitely been something like that. But why do I feel someone is fully focused? On some kind of contract, maybe some kind of relationship, something like that. Somebody could be driving towards this Queen of Pentacles, which I'm sorry, I'm laughing just because the, the one I just put out had this Queen of Pentacles. And that was not a <laughs> that was not a reading where you probably want the person driving towards you. I feel like somebody here is driving or traveling. Somebody could be traveling towards someone. <clears throat> could be this Queen of Pentacles. So it could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. Could be the mother of their children. I see a child up underneath here as well. Okay, someone who they have a child with. Somebody wants to, I feel like somebody wants to talk here. Somebody's leaving something behind. Somebody's finally leaving something behind. And boy, is it messing with their equilibrium here. But it looks like things were already going on in this situation that was already throwing things kind of into a bit of a, kind of a state of chaos here. Let me see what this is about. Let's clarify this justice in reverse, please. Six of Cups. Okay. Okay. Well, now I'm wondering if this is you or somebody that you've been with that's leaving something. Hang on one second. Mm, there's the tower. Somebody about to get a, the, the, the surprise, a huge surprise, huge, massive. Okay, I, you know what, I can only say that I think you're about to get a, a very, very big surprise. I don't know if this is you or someone around you that is 
trying to detach from their south node here finally get out of that energy and move towards what what's awaiting okay what's it looks to me like something that is waiting for them something that they're destined right to kind of have here This is a person that could be going through something. This could be used to just take it as it resonates. This could be a person here that is wants to transcend something, first of all. This could be a person that... I really do feel a sense of the sacrificial service. So this could be someone um, actually in the service industry that I'm talking about here. I feel... But I also feel like this is someone who gives, 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 does so much for other people, but maybe was not taking care of themselves in a sense. Somebody has been suffering some kind of injustice here in their life, being attached to something here. I feel like that they've been attached to for a long time from the past. This could be... I, you know, this is interesting because this could definitely be someone here. I feel like this could be someone here that has just felt really left out. That's what I feel. This could be a person, honestly, that's also was drinking a lot. Again, that could be that South Node energy. Drinking a lot, imbibing a lot in the wrong stuff because they just felt like they were left out. Like, you know, almost like God forgot me or which is clearly not true but this is just their own mental space is what I'm feeling but also money I did hear taken to the cleaners I feel there could have been a divorce or something like that that may have set off yeah it may have set off like a lot of events in someone's life here this could be a person that used to think they were on top of the world right like they had it all or something like that. But it just kind of watching again, everything kind of blow up in their face. They know that something has to end here. Somebody here knows that something has to end here. I think this is a person that's really been praying. I feel someone here that's really been reading maybe even the Bible in this higher font. They're actually reading. It looks like a Bible here trying to get closer to God, trying to restore themselves, maybe restore their faith as well. This person could be very, very emotional and feel like they've been holding on to something for so long. And it could have cost them a lot in their life. Again, what these changes are always very uncomfortable. Any of this could have sent, because this is also dark night of the soul. Any of this could have sent someone here into this dark night of the soul. And remember, I said that. This could have been someone very strong, very stable, very kind of heavenly in a sense anyway, you know, but still grounded here in reality. People look at this person as very strong, but they had all of this going on. I think this is a situation where the rug got pulled out from under someone for whatever reason. There's a lot of drinking going on. It could have been because they were ruminating on the injustices here of the past as well. You know, and the problem with addictions is we do begin to feel further and further from who we are. Okay. From source, from our connection. And I think definitely that that is what's happened here. This has all been as a result, I feel like, of someone holding on to this pain, holding on to, yeah, the, I think even the thoughts, okay, the experience itself, the emotions of it all, and continuing to kind of re-trigger um, things within them. And honestly, if they had an issue with drinking or something, I feel it was drinking, but something like that, I think it fed that addiction as well. This person's talking, somebody here is talking about a, a beautiful relationship that ended, okay, and that ended in betrayal, and that could have very well been where they've been, right? Maybe they know that they betrayed someone, or maybe that's what they've been hanging on to, this relationship that actually ended in betrayal. You know, maybe that came as a result of some kind of divorce here. 
This is definitely somebody I feel that has been holding on to quite a bit. I This is certainly, this is a loner, okay? This is definitely a loner is what I'm feeling here. Somebody here feels like, I feel like somebody's about to do something extreme, okay? I think somebody here is really weighing up their options, trying to figure out what to do. I will tell you, this person seems to be shrouded a little bit. I feel impulsiveness for some reason. They may be shrouded a little bit in confusion as well. Too many things going on in the head trying to come out of this. I do feel they could take some impulsive action to try and control a situation or try to get control of a situation here. Yeah. I definitely think that this has to do with a, a person, maybe a mother and their child or something like that. It could be trying to get back into that situation or trying to approach this Queen of Pentacles here, someone here of value, you know, someone here who knows their value, knows their worth. I don't know why they're trying to approach this individual yet because it looks to me... Well, maybe it is an individual that they've been holding on to. But the, the problem here I see with this person is they've also been holding on to betrayal and distrust. So I don't know if it came through this situation that they thought so much of or what. This is a person that has been a loner for a while is what I'm getting. They probably haven't been talking to a lot of people. They could have been secluded in this Four Cups energy, just unwilling to kind of play ball here. They may be trying to communicate here with someone else. There's something here about a fire sign child too. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, what is this about, Spirit for the Collective, please? Wow. Okay. What is this about? Somebody. Okay. <laughs> Look. Uh, 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 um. Okay, uh, somebody here has had something. So this might be some. This got to be about a relationship. This has to be about a relationship here. That I, I don't know what the impulsivity is about. I don't know if there was a rift here in the past where there was some kind of betrayal, and somebody's still not over it. I almost feel like somebody is. Well, I know they're heavily focused on it. I can see. I also see somebody here is really praying and trying to come up out of their own stuff because somebody here is kind of in a mess is what I'm feeling. Um, and I don't know who this is. This could have been a business partner. This could have been a lover. <coughs> I feel like somebody here... Is seeing that you have no interest. This is, this is interesting. I feel like someone here is seeing that you have no interest in coming out of your singlehood. And why am I saying that? You could have broke something off with someone. You could have divorced someone. They're seeing that you, you enjoy your single life. You're enjoying that. Maybe you don't want the same things, you know? I see there's been a lot of stagnancy in this situation here. Maybe somebody has been waiting for you, hanging on to you, waiting for you to accept them back or to allow some kind of amends to be made or something like that. But honestly, I don't think they've been doing anything about it. And maybe they've been fighting their own battles. Let me, let me be clear about that because if we go back to the starter cards here, you know, I do see transformations that are actually happening here. 
But to be fair, this is someone you could have gotten away from too because it was affecting your stability here. You had your own spiritual growth to, to move towards here. You also could have questioned, it, questioned this person's dependability or even loyalty in your life. You could have felt like you were given a lot of sacrificial service to a person that was kind of just taken from you. You could be wrapping yourself in a whole lot of self-love here as well. I, To be fair, I think somebody here is upset about, I don't think you have turned back from a situation. And this was a situation that rocked your world a little bit. Maybe a lot. This was something in your South Node. This was something that you were meant to release, but I think it got really uncomfortable before you finally started releasing that. You had to be made very uncomfortable. And maybe that's due to your own loyalty, okay? Maybe you didn't want to just let go to, to release. Maybe you were trying to make it work. Or maybe you wanted it to work. I can see you've gained a lot of perspective here and probably from being alone, spending time alone, working on yourself here, building your world the way that you really wanted it to be, maybe rebuilding. You could be uh, getting attention, I feel, from others at this particular time here. With whatever you're doing, this person's holding a trophy. I mean, you could be competing, you know, with something professionally, competitively, something like that. Um, this could be at work. I think you're shining in some way and other people are noticing this could also be creating this problem. I almost feel like <clears throat> this person is, is consumed with you. They're consumed with you and whatever here has happened in the past. I don't know why in their mind they are feeling like there's some kind of betrayal here due to some kind of ending that happened as well. But with this chariot card, I feel they could pop up on you. That's really my feeling here. The crazy part is I don't think they've tried. I don't feel like they put a lot of work into this. I definitely feel like I'm going to hold back. I'm unwilling to try and make amends. I didn't do this, right? Instead, they got lost in the sauce for a little bit is what I'm getting. And maybe that was just their coping, uh, their coping mechanism and how they chose to deal with it. But they don't like whatever they're seeing here. It's bothering them. I feel like it's igniting some kind of real trigger within them. Here's the thing. I, I think it's your detachment. Because in that strength card, you're coming across as very, obviously very strong, very confident. But you're also coming across as holding back. Because strength is also about holding back. I'm holding, I'm standing my ground here. And you're, there's a death here. So if there was any, you know, we, we talked about how this person has held on to this for a long time. Maybe the hope or wanting this to come back or maybe somewhere in their head they thought that this could come back. But you're standing so strong here. I feel like that's really causing someone, it could be causing them a tower, number one. And they're trying to think of how, what to do here, how to get around that. But... Ultimately, they're not really doing anything, right? They're not making any efforts here. This person has a lot of cups, by the way. So there is love here. <clears throat> you just don't appear to be on the same page for some reason. You could have also moved away from this person in this chariot card as well. It's a card about cultural and roots and stuff like this. This person could definitely be at a distance from you or feel like they're at a distance from you or you could have some kind of differences here culturally. All right, what else, Spirit? So you, your cards are so crystal clear to me. I know what's upsetting them. I know what's kind of getting them riled up and maybe awakening them from this, whatever the stupor was that they've kind of been in here. 
it is definitely creating some kind of um, movement, I'll say that, within this person here, because look at them, okay? They're consulting God here. They're trying to learn some kind of spiritual knowledge as well. Because it's something they do want to hang on to. I don't know. This is... <coughs> All right. What else, Spirit? What does the collective need to know regarding this? Yeah. Okay. Look at that. I don't know what to say about this. Somebody is not giving up on you. And I can see that you're standing very strong here in your stance, okay? This person definitely has a lot of emotion for you, definitely a lot of feelings for you. The, this person, the reason they're so apathetic over here because there's only one fish in the sea for this person, okay? And they want to, to work on it. I feel like they don't want you to walk away, okay? And they're trying to do everything they can to catch you. Look at all the spiritual growth happening up here around you. I feel like they're trying to do, they're studying. Look at this, they're studying. They could be studying a new craft, especially if they actually lost a job and they have a new vocation. They could be studying that, but I feel like they're trying to study. And, you know, maybe they're taking classes. Maybe they're talking to someone. They're trying to learn as much as they can here because they want to come back maybe and be the right person for you. Maybe do things differently, do things better. Because, again... Whatever this per so you were a very steady person in this person's life. Again, you know, the buffalo, very heavenly, but also very grounded, right? I mean, you're kind of a force, but whatever happened here shook up your world. I can see that brought a lot of darkness even into your world, could have sent you into this dark night of the soul. Had you swimming upstream against the current, okay, definitely defocused you, got you off balance in some way. So it interrupted your flow in life, but it was also part of your spiritual growth. Like you had to go through that. You might have someone here. Wow, this is... Uh... Let me keep going. I think I'm going to get some cards on them and on their energy just because now I'm thinking... I feel like Spirit pulled you out of this, clearly. That's what I'm seeing, and that's how the reading started. And now they're they're here again. So let's see, spirit, give me this person that the collective. This I don't know. That's trying to deal with the collective here. What is their? What's the situation with them? What's their energy, please? Crocodile. Okay. What is this person's energy that's dealing with the collective, please? Firefly. I feel like that might have been in Taurus's last night. And the frog. And the vulture. Look at some, this. Okay. Yeah, they're... <clears throat> First of all, this person's very emotional, okay? They are protected, okay? They're trying to hide out a little bit, submerge themselves, if you will, because they're going through a lot of cleansing, a lot of purification. They're going through a hard time. They're also going through this dark night. They're going through a dark time, period. But this is like a dark night of the soul. This is a purging thing, you know? And they have, they have uh, three cards of purging, actually. So what's interesting is with the vulture card coming out last, it definitely shows me that, because if you think about that, and vultures are really overlooked, right? Because if you think about it, they actually help to clean up our ecosystem. Something in this, this person's life is literally being destroyed, which we also saw in the beginning here. 
so that they can actually rebuild, I feel like, the right way. But I, I am going to go out on a limb here and say what they're going through is extremely painful at this time. And it's life-changing. All right? Maybe that's why they're praying and reading the Bible, it looks like, or some kind of text over here. Maybe that's why they're studying so much because they are trying to learn and grow and come out of this. I can definitely tell you this is a person that was not doing things the right way before. And now, well, first of all, they've been hit with a lot of rude awakenings here, but I can see that they're definitely trying to, or they're being put through um, an opportunity here. Let me say it that way for growth, okay? They're they're definitely trying to purge a lot of stuff out of their life. And it's it's kind of bad here because I feel there could have been some depression um, associated with this. I definitely feel like there's a lot of heavy emotions that could be purging and coming to the center. Maybe these are past things, childhood things, whatever, that are kind of coming up. With the firefly energy, I feel like their happiness and stuff could actually be fleeting. Like a, they see the light for a minute, but then they're kind of taken back down here. This person is having a very, very difficult kind of purge. Let me put it that way. And maybe it's because, and maybe that is why they're, you know, something had to bring them perhaps to their knees to bring them out of this, this complacent uh, place that I feel like that they've been in. Okay. Especially if they resign themselves to just kind of, you know, being apathetic and drinking, you know, instead of really taking control of their life here. So there's a lot that's going on in their life that I feel like just small bouts of light coming in, you know what I'm saying, amidst a whole lot of cleansing this person could feel. They don't want to be seen at this particular time, or maybe they've been in that synergy where they didn't want to be seen, but they are kind of watching everything, paying attention to everything, trying to learn what they can going through their own little purification here, breaking down of the shadow energy is what I'm feeling. This is like a complete destruction of that as well. Eating away, you know, anything here that is not good, that is not healthy. This is a revamping, I feel like, of a human in a sense. Building them up again from the inside out correctly, maybe without all of the... the well, I'll say the mindsets, the experiences from before, right? The conditioning that could have been bringing them down to begin with. Because for me, when I see addiction, all that, it's never about that. It's, you know, that's, I understand you have a, you know, an addiction, but it's, let's talk about the bullet wound, right? Let's talk about why you're doing the things that you're doing. Because this runs a lot deeper, a lot deeper, you know, you can, we talk about near-death experiences sometimes, you know, sometimes I can see that in this kind of energy, something major had to happen to shock someone into, whoa, this is my life, I need to take it seriously. It's almost like that. And, you know, maybe this could be a spiritual, you know, uh, near-death experience, if you will, or maybe it is a death, right? It's a spiritual death of sorts. So let me see, because I'm trying to figure out why somebody could be trying to come back into your life. They may not be fully ready. This may be as simple as just sending a message, checking on you, something like that. This could be a person that has been submerged in a lot of darkness and a lot of um, inner child healing, you know, anything like that that's been submerged but watching and paying close attention as they've been going through their own thing i don't think you know how dramatic this person's life has gotten i think they try to keep it quiet and they try to stay kind of off the radar a bit maybe when they go out even into public or to work or something like this they come across as you know just um it's that flash of light right that firefly energy I'm here, everything's great, but I don't think that's what I'm getting from Firefly. This makes me feel like they're getting through it, okay? They're seeing these little bursts of light. They're getting, uh, you know, some clarity here and there. They know that they're actually working through a lot of this shadow. 
which is interesting because once you get to the frog energy, you see this is about breaking down the shadow and purifying. You see that it's less. It's not all consuming. Then you get to the vulture and the vulture is about destruction of that aspect of you. So somebody is definitely doing a lot of work, a whole lot of work. And it may be bringing up as well a an understanding of what's taken place here in the past. Maybe that is why they were so focused on this deception. Okay, so if somebody deceived you in a way, if they're recognizing that there was deception here that created an ending, that created some kind of instability in another person's life due to some lack of loyalty, they might actually be facing that now recognizing that now there's a lot of cups in these cards a lot of love here now anytime i'm doing a reading this does not mean this is some kind of reunion it could be okay but it could definitely be about someone seeing the light someone trying to make a change someone trying to right a wrong with someone who is important to them okay and this could very well just be something like that. Okay, let me get something here from Magical Spirit. For the Collective Spirit, any messages here? So, I wasn't like this, you know. I had to create who I am. So, this is you sitting very comfortably, okay? Or maybe this is them. I wasn't like this, you know, I had to create who I am. I feel like this is good, okay? I see all the stars and st stuff around this person. It shows me somebody here that, that, had, that used their free will here, maybe to even get out of a situation to recreate themselves, to revamp themselves out of a difficult time here. This is someone actually that's heavy in creation mode. I actually saw that in your cards coming up right here. You're very comfortable with the life that you've been able to create for yourself. Why are you telling? It's funny that you're saying it that way, though. It's almost like you're explaining that to someone. You know, I told you, you might have someone here that is really trying to study and learn. Maybe spirituality, right? They could be learning something new here. They could be studying you, for that matter. Stay open to the good and beautiful things. This is, in, you definitely have somebody coming back in your life. I feel this person is trying to learn a different way. This could be someone who watched you walk away from a very harsh situation that they could have put you through, okay? Where they rocked your foundation in some way and then just go and rebuild. And they're seeing how comfortable you are on your own and you're shining in some way. You're saying to them, yeah, I created this. You know what I'm saying? I created this momentum. I created this change. I created who I am here. Okay, this magic mushroom here could be talking about miracles happening. Okay, you could be a very positive person here that understands your creative abilities. All right, your manifestation abilities here. And it's because you do believe so heavily. It's because you do have such strong faith here. You could be tied to or work with the fairy energies as well. But that's a card about miracles. Incidentally, it's also a card about opening up as well, though. I feel like there's going to be some kind of conversation here. The meaning in the middle. Life, presence, and depth. This person is your student. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This is your student. In some way shape or form i don't know if it's your child i don't know if it's somebody who you are supposed to teach in life or who you are teaching lessons in life in some way okay they're your student they're studying they want to know what you know they want to do what you've done okay they want to have a happy life is what it looks like they don't want to just give up on life because they've had some kind of wake-up call here they know that you know. Look, if you look at even just on this card, you see a skull representing death, okay? You see the person over here, very beautiful, okay? It's the meaning in the middle, though, right? So 
So can you find the meaning in that? It's weird because I literally talked about a near-death experience early, okay? Can you find the meaning in that? Can you find the meaning here in the middle life? Okay, the presence, being present here, the depth, okay? This person is learning a new way, but I feel like they're trying to learn that from you because you seem to be walking this road that you're so comfortable with and you're so stable in. And they have found it hard. For some reason, they have found life hard. That's what I feel. This is definitely someone who felt very left out by life. Yeah, I feel like they felt very left out by life. And instead of facing it head on like you have clearly done, I feel like they got lost for a little while. Drinking. I feel like there's definitely a lot of drinking here. Okay, let me get some last words for you guys. It's weird because I'm getting very emotional, almost like I feel sadness here. And I don't know if it's because you have deep emotions for this person. I don't know. For me personally, maybe it's just a compassion thing, but... <clears throat> and that obviously you know what you've been through with this person, but I do think there's a lot of emotion around this reading. I almost feel like somebody is trying to get a new lease on life. They want to do better and they're trying to right some wrongs and learn a different way. I don't know who it is. And don't look at this as a love situation. It definitely does not have to be. This could be somebody that, that watches you or who learns from you in some way as well. That for a long time lost themselves in alcoholism and stuff because they were just rehashing things from the past. Hmm. Okay. They're learning a different way and that's teaching them also to live again and to have hope and to have these flickers of light where there was only darkness before. It's a person that just, I feel like they've struggled with depression. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. It says just to be careful here. I feel like that's for them. Intuition and healing powers will guide you. Patience. Slow down. Change your attitude and clear your mind. That's what I think is happening. I, I told you somebody here really struggled with darkness, a lot of darkness. They could have people around them as well. But again, they're trying to learn as much as they can here, I feel, to lead them out um, of another situation. Just be careful. So I think that maybe somebody here also needs to, I don't think this is you. I just don't. I think this is, unless this whole reading is about you. Because I feel like the, whoever has the snake on them has to do with the person that has been kind of in this darkness that is trying to come out here. Something is guiding them out. That's what I'm getting. Their intuition is actually guiding them out as they heal, as they get clearer. It's guiding them out. This is just be careful here, you know, basically watch who you're around, you know, have good boundaries. Yeah. Because with a lot of patience here and changing their attitude, clearing their mind here, there's some kind of sun that's coming out, okay? Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. This is about happiness, okay? This is about brighter days. This is about success that is coming. Yeah, this is a beautiful, I mean, this is definitely a beautiful card to have, especially wrapping up a, a reading, especially a reading like this. So you're going from all this darkness to, to sunshine, to happier days, to a new beginning, basically. All right. Interesting read. So that went pretty deep. Hopefully this will resonate with somebody. Um, okay. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.